Welcome back all. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the ControlNet Scribble preprocessor, which allows you to turn rough sketches like this into something awesome like this. So let's dive in. So the first one we'll look at is the ControlNet Scribble Head preprocessor, which stands for the Holistically Nested Edge Detection, which means that it's a really good preprocessor for generating the outlines um, based off the input image we give it. So let's dive in and um, do an example, I guess. So in here, within our control net, we want to expand this down. We can drop in our starting image. Here's a robot that I lovingly drew earlier. Um, we need to make sure that we uh, click enable on this bit to make sure that control net kicks in. And we can also uh, tick pixel perfect to match, match the pixels. We want to select our control type as scribble. We want, we're going to start first with the scribble head, as we've just discussed. And then the model it uses is the uh, control net stable diffusion 1.5 and um, scribble model. Okay, uh, control mode. Um, I usually leave this at balanced. Um, you can say if control net is more important or your prompt is more important, but I find the best results are with balanced. And then we'll grab some prompts. Uh, we'll generate a couple of images and hopefully we shall see our little robot turn into something like so. Hmm, how cool is that? I love that. And just for reference purposes, this is the um, Scribblehead pre-process image, which is what it essentially uses in, combine, in combination with your prompts um, to generate the images. So next we'll take a look at the Scribble PDNet, which stands for the Pixel Difference Network. And this preprocessor has the ability to detect and emphasize clean lines. So it's really good for capturing the, the broad outlines um, of your uploaded image. So let's look at an example. So again, we make sure we drop down our control net. We can pop in our image. We're gonna do a sketch of a house that I lovingly made. Uh, make sure we click on enable again and we want our pixel perfect. Our control type will be scribble again and we've got it defaulted to scribble pidinet, so that's cool. Uh, pop in our prompts and we'll, again we'll generate a couple of images and let's see what it outputs. Again, so if we look at what this one does, we can see it's capturing the hill coming in, the sun, the trees, rough outline of the house. And again, really cool from our image, we get some cool outputs. So the last one to look at is Scribble XDog, uh, which uses the extended difference of Gaussian, which is another edge detection um, tool. So let's uh, again um, go through an example. So it's getting familiar now, we want to drop down the control net. We want to upload our image. This time we'll have um, a little boat on water with the sunshine. We'll click on enable to make sure that uh, control net kicks in. Pixel perfect again. We want our scribble. And this time we want to select the preprocessor as xdog. And all of the scribble preprocessors use the same model, again, which is a stable diffusion 1.5 scribble model. Uh, we'll leave our control mode as balanced. We can enter our positive prompts. We'll generate a couple of images again. In fact, we'll do three this time. And let's see what it outputs this time. Again, you can see the pre-processed image has picked up our boat with the sail, the sun, the clouds, and some waves coming in. And the images we get, I mean, that's really cool. Look at that. That one's a bit random in the air. <laughs> and I don't know what's going on with that one. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's it for um, Control Net Scribble. Um, have a play with it, have fun, um, and let me know if you have any uh, questions in the comments. Cheers, guys.